Converting units of pressure, volume, and temperature for the gas laws. Pressure is measured in the following ways. Atmospheres, which are ATMs, kilopascals, or kpaws, pascals, paws, millimeters of mercury, mmHg, or torcelli's, T-O-R-R. The conversions for these units are one atmosphere is equal to 101.3 kilopascals, which is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury, which also equals 760 tor. Therefore, one millimeter of mercury is equal to one tor, and 1,000 pascals is equal to, a to one kilopascal. We will need to convert units because at certain times using certain formulas, we will need the units to be consistent, especially using the ideal gas law, where we will need to always be in ATMs, liters, moles, and Kelvin. So if we need to change 900 millimeters of mercury to atmospheres, we begin with 900 millimeters of mercury. We multiply by a conversion factor that allows us to get ATM on the top, and that is equal to 760 millimeters on the bottom. We put the 760 millimeters of mercury on the bottom so we can cancel the units and end up with 1.18 atmospheres of pressure. To convert 42.5 kilopascals to tor, we again begin with 42.5 kilopascals using a conversion factor of 760 tors is the same as 101.3 kilopascals. Canceling the units of kilopascals, we get an answer of 319 tor. 42.5 times 760 divided by 101.3. If I need to change 2.5 atmospheres to kilopascals, we begin with the 2.5 atmospheres. Our conversion factor is 101.3 kilopascals for one atmosphere. Atmospheres would cancel, giving us an answer of 250 kilopascals. For volume, we can measure it in these ways. Liters, capital L, milliliters, mLs, decimeters cubed, dm cubed, or centimeters cubed, cm cubed. One liter is equal to one decimeter cubed, which is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed, which is equal to one thousand milliliters. Therefore, one centimeter cubed equals one milliliter. If we need to convert the following, 1,350 milliliters to liters, we begin with 1,350 milliliters. We multiply by a conversion factor that puts liters on the top and milliliters on the bottom. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. This allows us to cancel the milliliter unit and we end up with 1.35 liters. Dividing by 1,000 is the same as moving the decimal three places to the left. If we wanted to change 1.5 decimeters cubed to milliliters, we would begin with the 1.5 decimeters cubed, multiply by the conversion factor, one liter equals one decimeter cubed to get to liters, and then convert liters to milliliters by multiplying by the conversion factor, a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. Canceling liters and decimeters cubed, we end up with an answer of 1,500 milliliters. For temperature, we can get Temperature measured in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. To convert between Celsius and Fahrenheit, we use the equation 9 fifths Celsius plus 32 equals Fahrenheit. Or we can use 5 ninths the quantity Fahrenheit minus 32 equals Celsius. To convert between Celsius and Kelvin, we change Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273 and change Kelvin to Celsius by subtracting 273. So to convert 25 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, we begin with 9 fifths 25 degrees Celsius. We will then add 32 to get Fahrenheit. 9 fifths times 25 gives us an answer of, 30, of 45 45 plus 32 gives us an answer of 77 degrees Fahrenheit.
to convert 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit being average body temp, we use the equation 5 ninths, the quantity 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, equals Celsius. Solving inside the parentheses first, we get 5 ninths times the quantity 66.6 .6 equals de degrees Celsius, and that we end up with an answer of 5 times 66.6 .6 divided by 9 becoming 37 degrees Celsius. To convert from Celsius to Kelvin, if I start with 20 degrees Celsius, I add 273, getting an answer of 293 Kelvin. To change negative 32 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we take the ne negative 32 degrees Celsius, we add 273, and get an answer of 241 Kelvin. 341 Kelvin changed to Celsius, we would subtract 273 from the 341 and get 68 degrees Celsius. Or 260 Kelvin to Celsius, we take the 260 Kelvin, subtract 273, and get an answer of negative 13 degrees Celsius. Always keep in mind that for the gas laws, you must change Celsius to Kelvin. Always change Celsius to Kelvin.